So advanced placement courses are courses we offer that are introductory level uh, college courses that students would typically do in their first year of college. Students who do AP courses can earn college level credit. So that means when they uh, go to college, they've already completed some of their papers. That means that they can complete their uh, degree in a shorter time and typically saving them money. Um, also, it helps students develop their skills to be successful at college. So nationally, statistics are showing that students who take AP courses typically have a higher uh, GPA and are more likely to complete their four-year degree. So we advise students to take no more than three courses in both grades 11 and 12. The reason for this is because of the extra work that is required. We do meet with students one-on-one -on -one and under, in circumstances, special circumstances, we will allow students to take four or more courses if required. Because it is college introductory coursework, there is a lot more work involved. Typically, we are looking at two to three hours a day that the college board advise in terms of the extra work that's involved. So because they're working at college level, there is a lot more work, so it can be more stressful for students. So students can get stressed, but again, if students plan and manage their time, they can be successful with their AP courses because of the extra work. So the students have to weigh up and balance the number of CCAs and extracurricular or other activities they may take in school against the time that they need to complete this course successfully. Uh, we also, students in grades 11 and 12 do get study periods and that's an acknowledgement of the extra work that AP courses have. So a three or better, so the scoring ratio is between one and five. A student who scores three or above, three, four or five, uh, is considered a pass, and then they would qualify at a university for credit, potentially. So universities have the opportunity to offer students credit. So that means that they, if they have 10 courses to complete in their first year, they, and they've got four credits from their advanced placement, they only have to complete six courses in their first year. Placement is that stu uh, colleges will allow students to take more advanced courses. So if I've got my AP Chemistry, they may allow me to go on to advanced chemistry in my se uh, se which would typically be a second year course. So we offer courses in English, math, science, social studies, world languages and art. Our English courses are AP Language and Composition, AP Lit, Literature and Composition. In World Languages we offer AP Chinese Language and Culture. Our Maths are AP Statistics and AP Calculus. In AP Art we offer AP 2D Design and AP Drawing. Our Sciences are AP Physics, AP Chemistry, AP Biology. In AP Social Science we offer AP Economics, AP World History, AP Government and Politics, and AP, oh yeah, that's it. We're gonna offer AP Psychology next year. So the AP course culminates in an exam in May. Uh, typically those exams are two to three hours long. Um, 
consisting of multi-choice, short answer and long answer questions. So it, students who take AP courses send a strong message to college admissions offices that they are prepared for college level work. So if I was going to be applying for an engineering major and I've shown that I have AP chemistry, physics and calculus, then I'm demonstrating to colleges that I'm able to work at a college level and they can feel confident about me coming in to, to take the course and that I'm able to complete the coursework. Um, it also helps with GPA because at Raffles we offer a, a weighted GPA. So it helps colleges to understand that students are able to work at a higher level. No, students who can apply themselves, who have good study and work ethics, will do and be successful at an AP courses. No, again, I think it comes back to time management. And so this is uh, helping students to develop the skills to be successful at college. And as they apply those skills here, they can be successful in their AP courses. No, again, colleges will look at uh, your grades on your transcript because students are offered, they get a score for their AP exam, but they also earn credit and for, towards their high school diploma. So a college will look at a B in an AP course and that because of the rigor of the work, that is seen as something that is um, at an advantage to a student because they've completed a college level course. So GPA is one thing, but student, uh, colleges are going to look at the score they've got for an advanced placement course. So we meet with students one-on-one -on -one in grades 10 and 11 to discuss their course requirements. So we would be offering the opportunity to, for students to take AP. But also students need to advocate for themselves and if they're enjoying a course and they think that they want to take an advanced placement course, they can approach their teacher or their college counsellor here and have a discussion with them about their suitability to take an AP course.